Among the deluge of mediocre Star Wars shows that Disney has been farting out the last couple of years, Andor is a real breath of fresh air. It's amazing how far having an actual story written by intelligent people with something to say and that fits in with the established universe will get you. So of course, being the plastic crack addicted weirdo I am, I was very excited for the figures that would come out of the show. Here are three that I've picked up so far. The Ferrix Imperial Officer, Cassian Andor, and Luthen Rail. Let's start with the Officer. He's in El Clasico plastic full packaging. Popping him out of the shell, my first thought is that one thing that the new Star Wars movies and shows have pretty consistently gotten right is the look of Imperial Troopers. They have the Taco Bell-like ability to take the same few pieces and make cool looking stuff with it. Case in point, this figure has a lot of similar or reused parts from the Mimban Han Trooper from Solo which makes sense considering they're both regular non-Stormtrooper cannon fodder type guys. It comes with a standard E-11 Stormtrooper blaster and this removable helmet with separate goggles. This gives you some ability to give them some variety if you army build him. Taking the helmet off to look at the head underneath. Hey look, it's this guy. I scrubbed through all the scenes I could find on Ferrix with Imperial Troopers and couldn't find this specific guy. It's funny to me that they would spend all the effort to make this random guy look so good. Moving on to the articulation, he has all the standard movement you'd expect from a trooper. The joints in his legs were kind of stiff though, so I had to heat him up a bit in some warm water. Ah, the Polynesian spot. Much better. Overall, it's a pretty neat figure. Way better than I was expecting. There is no way it was worth the original price Target was charging for it when it came out. There's a reason why these went on fire sale after a little while. I got this guy in clearance myself. Next, let's move on to Kassa. He comes in the now short-lived plastic-free packaging. Inside, we have him going mummy mode in his cardboard sarcophagus. And inside of the paper pyramid, they buried him with one accessory, his briar blaster. Shout out to Kyle Katarn. They gave him two trigger fingers so he can hold it in either hand for maximum murder action. He also has all the standard articulation you'd expect from Black Series. The theme today seems to be stiff knee joints though. Like a Twitch streamer when the rent is due, into the hot tub he goes. I'm just a tourist! This figure really shows how far the Black Series has come in the likeness department since Rogue One. We've moved somewhere from Dollar General to Aldi at least in the likeness department. The face still seems slightly off to me, but it works. The body sculpt looks good. It has a pretty good amount of detail with some well done paint on the belt. The coat gets in the way a little bit, but it's not a deal breaker. He cuts a pretty good silhouette. It's a pretty good representation of Cassian from those first few episodes. And finally, here's one of the breakout stars of the show, Luthen. I think they really killed it on the likeness here. Looking at him in real life, it looks like a little version of Stellan Skarsgård. Finally. The paint looks pretty good. Nothing special, but not bad. It would have been nice if they had a swappable hood that he could put up so he could go stealth mode. He also had the stiff joints in his legs, so he got the old dipski in the drink too. Everything! There, now we can recreate some of the iconic scenes from the show. Like this one. Or even this one. Stop. Hammer time. For accessories, he comes with his little shoot shoot and his emotional support too. There's a little curly knife inside, which I'm pretty sure didn't show up in the show at all, so this figure is now non-canon. Here he is next to the Rogue One version of his best pal, Saw Gerrera. I really like this figure. It would be cool to have a figure of his Coruscant art dealer look as well. You could give it a removable wig and more of the art pieces from his shop, and the secret radio equipment too. Overall, these are some good figures for an amazing show. At the risk of getting the Pinkertons sicked on me, Here's the expected bit that these figures are overpriced and Hasbro is greedy and evil. Which is true. You pretty much need to steal the quarterly Imperial payroll for an entire sector to keep up with these things. But once you get past that, these three are pretty decent. Especially if you can get them on clearance. And if any of you haven't watched Andor yet, drop everything you're doing and go watch it right now. So what do you think? Have you seen Andor? The correct answer is yes in the comments. Make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, Maybe check out one of these other videos that are on the screen right now. Let's go.